This is one of the biggest festivals in Vietnam. This site attracted 2.1 million tourists and pilgrims in 2012. It is considered the ancestral place of Vietnamese Buddhism. Yen Chu Pagoda is located in Yen Chu Mountain, 1,068 meters above the sea level in Long Bai City, Quang Nai Province. The land is attached to Tran Nung Dong. The king who led his troops to two victories over Mongol invaders and left his throne for Yen Chu to found Truk Lam Zen sect here. Yen Chu was recognized as a special national level historical place. Pilgrims used to have to climb thousands of stone steps, 6,000 meters, during six hours. Through immense primitive forests and huge waterfalls, to reach the mountain top. Thanks to the completion of the cable car system number one in 2002, which can bring tourists to Hoa Yen Pagoda and the second one in 2008, which leads to the mountain top, the journey becomes much easier. Let's offer an incense stick at the ancestral tower, before entering Hoa Yen Pagoda. It was built in the Tran Dynasty and restored in early La Dynasty. This is the place where part of Sariras, of Duangu Jiak Huang Tran Nantong Tong is kept. A marble statue of Truk Lam Zen Sek founder. 62 centimeters in height, in Buddhist Kazaya is placed on the second floor of the tower. This is the model for the giant bronze statue.
Tens of groups of Buddhists come to Yenshu every day. They perform rituals to show their respect for Tran and Tong and pray for his support. There are more than 90 other towers in the tower garden. This is the place where Buddhist monks, who passed away in Yanchu mountain rest in peace. Offering incense at these towers is a way for Buddhists to express their gratitude for predecessors. Located at the height of 535 meters above the sea level, Hoayan Pagoda is the biggest pagoda in Yanchu Mountain, and it is also called Traka. The construction of Hoayan Pagoda began in the Lai Dynasty. The pagoda was called Banben. It used to be a small thatched pagoda named Ban Yen, where Tran and Tong preached sermons. Three founders of Truklam Yenshu Zen sect were chief monks of this pagoda. Lo Dan Tong passed the pagoda and saw that it was surrounded by fresh flowers. Thus, he named it Hoa Yen. The pagoda we see today was built in the Nguyen dynasty. It has five compartments arranged in the shape of Chinese character Ding. It is believed that Hoa Yen Pagoda is located in the position of the dragon head with the ancestral tower being the dragon eye and the two mountains at two sides being dragon arms. Many precious objects that bear the imprint of the glorious day of the Buddhist Zen sect can be found in the pagoda. Like statues of Buddha, stone steely, ancient bricks, and stone incense burners dated to the reign of Latrung hung in the 17th century. Hoa Pagoda was restored in 2002 with a new shape, consisting of the inner part resembling Chinese character Gong and the outer part resembling Chinese character Go. The ancestral house, the corridors, the drum and the bell of the pagoda 
have patterns typical of architecture under the Tran dynasty. The pagoda is harmonious blend of architecture and nature, Buddhism and life. Visitors to Hoiyan Pagoda are amazed at three 700-year-old trees. Southern people call these trees Plumaria. But their common name as Frail Japanese can show the sacred atmosphere at the pagoda. The old roots of the trees let us know how much hardship they overcame. The trees are often linked to unyielding heroes in the battle. They come in full bloom in the season, beautifying the tranquil space here. Hoiyen is a must-see place for all tourists to Yenchu. The next destination is the cable car station number 2. We can see the weather change here. The temperature here is quite lower than that at the foot of the mountain. Bushes and bamboos replace immense ancient trees. The clouds flying across our faces make the space even more mysterious. In front of us is the newly carved statue of Tran Nam Dong. The highlight of Yenchu historical complex. The statue placed in Ukai Sin on Yenchu Peak is made from concrete and stone. The foundation of statue is 3 meters high. The lotus base is 2 meters high and the statue has the height of 9.9 .9 meters. Standing here, we can have an overview of Yenshu Mountain and surrounding pagodas. The statue sets three records of Vietnam, including the biggest monolithic statue in Vietnam, the statue placed in the highest position, the statue carved with the most modern technology in Vietnam. As the construction of the statue was carried out, in a higher narrow place with the total quantity of 2,500 tons, the contractors built it right on the concrete base, and put the kiln on the scaffolding. They had two tries before casting the statue, at the height of 920 meters above the sea level, to test the thermal resistance of the base. 
with the finance of the ENT 75 billion. The statue is evaluated as a record work. It is a new tourist attraction in Yenshu. Our next destination is Dong Pagoda on Yenchu Top. A must-see place for all tourists to Yenchu. The air becomes thinner and the dew gets thicker. There are more stones than trees here. The path to the pagoda is quite challenging with steps being tottery stones. Dong Pagoda is located on Yenchu Top, 1.068 meters above the sea level. It was inaugurated on January 30, 2007, and is considered the most special pagoda in Asia. It has the height of 3.35 meters and patterns typical of the Tran Dynasty. The Pagoda, statue of the Buddha and the bell. 70 tons in weight, were cast from bronze imported from Australia. It consists of about 6,000 components and the heaviest one, 1.4 ton, was installed right on the mountain top. The pagoda has the shape of Chinese character Ding, and covers an area of nearly 20 square meters in the center of the foundation of a lotus-shaped pagoda formerly built here. Dong Pagoda records of Vietnam include Biggest Bronze Pagoda in Vietnam Pagoda with highest location in Vietnam Pagoda with top donation VND 1 billion and 10 kilograms of gold Pagoda with top weight 70 tons of bronze and top number of components 6000 According to Chan Nok Hang, a Buddhism researcher from the Buddhist Shangha of Vietnam, the name of pagoda indicates both its material and the unity of Vietnamese people.
This is the most sacred place. Reaching here means reaching the ancestral place of Vietnamese Buddhism. These pilgrims come here with greatest sincerity to pray for the Buddha support.